Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist, and I'm talking today about what to do if you have a bad tan. You know, how can you lighten your skin and match those areas up if you've gotten a bad tan? So I'm here with my beautiful model, Kirsty Stalder, and she actually has gotten a bad tan, if you will. So we're going to lighten her skin. There's a couple things I want to talk about, three things. It's super important, I cannot stress enough how important it is to exfoliate before you go and get an airbrush tan. You need to make sure that there's no dead skin surface. You know, your, your, your skin needs to be clear, it needs to be hydrated. You need to start doing that about a week before you plan to go and get your actual airbrush tan. Secondly, you can consider if you do get some blotchiness or where it grabs color, you can actually choose a foundation that is similar to what you have on your face. So say you airbrushed on your, on your body, you could choose a shade that's going to be more in harmony with that area so it's nice and uniform. So in her case, the bad tan is here on the decollete area. And you can see that it's splotchy, it's grabbed color in certain areas. Now, that could have just been the distribution of the product itself. There's a couple of factors, a couple of variables. But what we can do in this case since, if, let's say she did all the preparatory work and she exfoliated well and was really hydrated. If this were the case, we can go ahead and apply a little bit of foundation to balance these areas. And you know, this happens on occasion. So you can just blend this out. We're just going to lay down some color with a foundation brush. And in this case, we're going to come back to the exfoliating idea is that you would exfoliate over this first. Remove as much of this color as you can just simply by doing that. That's going to alleviate much of the blotchiness and the discoloration. And then you can also go ahead and put a foundation that's just more harmonious with what you've got going on with your face until this fades. And, and that actually happens very quickly. Showering and washing it, you know, and the exfoliation, like we mentioned earlier, is definitely going to minimize this blotchy effect. But say you were going out, she's got this beautiful blue shirt on, she wants to be able to show off that neckline, it would be more than appropriate to blend a little bit of foundation down onto the decollete and the neck area. The trick again is just going to be making sure that you blend it well. There's no lines of demarcation, it looks very balanced. Another thing, and our last tip, is to actually go ahead and lay down some powder over the top. Can use a powder that's one or two shades lighter than you normally would. I'm just using a buffing brush. This is a, a rather large buffing brush, but it's great for detail work and getting into little areas. So you'll see that that gives a much more natural look. You know, these things do happen on occasion. That's some things that you can do to try to alleviate. I'm Lisa Nelson, and that is what I would do to lighten your skin if you've gotten a bad tan.